The costume, the, 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 the art direction, the costume design. The, these movies have always been spot on. Wow, talk about water birth. <laughs> That's still great. Thing, right? I think that's Riri Williams from uh, Ironheart. Okay, that was uh, that was something. That was something, people. Um, this is this is one of those things that it's weird to realize that you know what the, what this movie kind of represents and what it has to be. You know, it's 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 been done to death. This whole thing about you know, there's it's 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 difficult to imagine doing this franchise without Chadwick. Um, we've been wondering for two years now what a follow up or what any involvement of Wakanda in anything in the MCU was going to look like. Just the tone of what that corner of the MCU is going to look like in the ad, in the in the wake of losing Chadwick in uh, August of 2020. And it, it, this is our first serious taste of it. And it did everything that it was supposed to do in terms of, first and foremost, reminding people that this is still happening. Wakanda still exists. Um, we haven't forgotten about this movie. We haven't forgotten about there are still stories left to be told. And we have not and will not and cannot forget about the legacy that Chadwick helped build with the first film. Just talking about the context of Marvel here. So I'm really, I'm proud of them. I'm proud of, uh, you know, Coogler and Joe Robert Cole and, and the whole production staff, all, obviously all the, all the actors that came back for this, you know, uh, just everybody that wound up being involved in this production. I'm, I'm really, I'm really proud to see that. I'm proud of them. I'm proud to see that they actually stuck the landing here, at the very least with this trailer. Um, I'm really looking forward to this movie. And it really, um, this, this, this is a strong, this is a very strong start to the show here. Um, I probably should have saved this one for last. <laughs> um, but there you go. That was Black Panther Wakanda Forever, an amazing, amazing start to our trailer show tonight. Um, let me see. We have a comment. Stab ZX says, to be honest, I think they should have recast T'Challa. Ooh, controversial opinion. I know they want to respect the actor, which is beautiful, but there are so many stories left to tell for the character. Don't forget, there are also plenty of other people left as far as the, I guess, Wakandan roster, for lack of a better way to put it, that can still help tell that story in a different way. And if there's one thing that the MCU has proven itself time and again to love the opportunity to do, it's tell familiar stories in relatively unpredictable ways, especially if 
your frame of reference is the comics. All they've been doing since 2008 is paraphrasing stuff from the comics and doing them in a different way or in a completely different order. Don't forget, in the comics, Civil War was ha- was supposed to happen uh, after Infinity War. But when it came time to do the movies, they did Civil War before Infinity War. And Kevin Feige had this whole rationale behind why why he chose to do that. But that's another conversation. Anyway, this is uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, which is hitting theaters on November 11th of this year.